by having leading conversations with people who are naturally psychotic. I was saying, we have mentally ill people mm. that we pay to do <laughs> Make no mistake. Over the last 20 years, I've paid off a few homeless guys to do some crazy stuff. And I've also taken them for dinner, and I've also made uh -huh. sure they had a hotel. You know, I, I don't know whether you're shocked by that. I certainly mm. am, because it's just so blatant. More video from Project Veritas. And as you, I'll, I'll repeat this, it shows Clinton campaign people, uh, Democratic operatives, inciting violence at Trump events. Leslie Marshall is with us. Now, Leslie, you surely, I mean, they, it's so blatant. It's so, so obvious. Will you condemn it? Of course I would condemn any violence. I'm a liberal. That makes me a pacifist. I condemn any violence for any purpose, and especially uh, for political gain, whether it's from a Democrat or a Republican. One of the wonderful things about our nation is we have the freedom to our opinions, yes. and we have the freedom to cast our ballots for which um, candidates we want. Nobody should be destroying headquarters. But I do have a problem with... Who got, who got these videos out? And I, don't I do care. have a problem with the L edits Leslie, here. I Leslie, really I'm do. sorry. I absolutely do not care. If you watch that videotape, and if you like, I'll play it again for you. You can clearly tell the sentences are run from one to another. I will pay off mentally ill people and homeless people. I have done it. I have paid them off. And I've made them incite violence at Trump rallies. It's blatant. It's right out there. Meanwhile, your candidate. Hillary Clinton is saying that it's Trump people who are inciting violence. All the time, it is her campaign that's doing it. I Leslie, that is outrageous, and I think you know it, and I think it should be on the front page of every newspaper and at the top of every news broadcast in America today, and it's not. It will be discussed in the debate, and I think Secretary Clinton should answer for that. However, I do think that some of the Trump rhetoric we've seen has contributed to some of the violence we've seen at Trump rallies and just toward people. And, and right now, the divisiveness that we see uh, uh, through in the vitriol that we see throughout the country leading up uh, to this debate. But I agree with you. There is absolutely no excuse for any type of violence. Like I said, was this commanded by or known by Secretary Clinton that I would have a huge issue with Stu. Okay, now let me show you another example of elite journalists working hand working for and with the Clinton campaign. I'm talking about John Harwood, CNBC guy. He sent an email to Clinton campaign manager John Podesta. Here's the email. Topic. Amazing that some people still think it's worth burning so much interview time with person most likely to be next president on her emails. Leslie, again, that is an elite journalist, CNBC, New York Times writer, working with the Clinton campaign. Nobody is not saying this, but that's what came out of those leaks. That is outrageous, isn't it? Well, well, I have said before, I have a real problem when journalists aren't reporting the facts, but they're opining about the facts. I was a journalist years ago. Now I'm a talk show host and an analyst who is paid to opine. There's a big difference there. Yes. I have a master's of broadcast journalism, and I will tell you, a true journalist is supposed to report yes. the information, and then the people who are reading it, listening, or viewing it come to their own conclusions. So I think what actually, do we Thrush agree on something? About Politico, who gave his report to John Podesta, Go through it, please. Make sure I'm right. Oh, by the way, don't tell anybody that I'm doing this. Mr. Thrush, left-hand side. Podesta, campaign manager for Hillary Clinton, right-hand side. This is so pervasive that I think there is some truth to the idea that essentially, um, you can read the email for yourself, it's on the screen right now. This is so pervasive that it is destroying American journalism, isn't it? Well, I don't think it's just, I hope it isn't destroying American journalism, but I think we've seen over the years, Stu, if you look at, uh, there are certain newspapers out there that are known to be red or to be blue, and we're definitely hearing that when their endorsements come out in this election cycle. That's the editorial uh, that is page. That, that, Leslie, is, that, is, that problematic. is the editorial page, and there's no problem with that whatsoever. But on the news side of things, they're not supposed to be doing that, and they're certainly not supposed to be working with and for a political campaign. I don't, I don't disagree with you there, but what I also have seen is criticism, not only by the press, but by voters, that Hillary Clinton is not giving enough time to the press, not answering questions, not doing interviews, not giving press conferences. So if she, Secretary Clinton, were truly in bed with all of these journalists, would, we would be seeing her constantly. We wouldn't hear those complaints among voters and among the media. Why should 
Hillary Clinton expose herself to the media, which is clearly on her side? I don't think the media is clearly on her side. I you think don't? they're a reputable. Uh, you don't? I think I think I think there are, are reputable journalists out there across the board. Despite, yeah, look, we, you know, are, are you, there some bad on, apples Leslie. that you, have not have not had the integrity of other journalists? Absolutely, but get I think there are a number reality. of journal. No, I think there are a number of journalists out there. I think one of which we're going to see uh, moderating the debate tonight that uh, know what it means to be a journalist, have the integrity, th and do it right. I think it, right. it was on MS was it MSNBC this morning? Yeah, Kellyanne Conway. Trump campaign manager. She was asked by these journalists, how can you face your kids? Do you think there's a, just a tad pejorative, Leslie? I have heard a lot of that, but it's not just toward her and it's not just toward uh, the Trump campaign. I've seen a lot of things that I have been either offended by, uh, my jaw has dropped and been shocked by, considering this is a presidential election for the role of commander in chief leading a superpower nation, leading the rest of the world. And I've seen this happening across the board. You know, I'm glad you're on the show. You're kind of a, um, you know. Uh, yeah, punching bag for me, I guess. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't. I don't feel bruised at all. <laughs> Good, oh. <laughs> Leslie. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you, you very much. I appreciate it.